Welcome to a new episode of Blockart News. My name is Brendan Stewart Skark and I'm founder of Blockart, the local art portfolio where we represent 40 Latin American artists, which 30 are from Peru. Before telling you about what's going on in today's episode and our special guest, hint right here, let's first think outside the block. So today's episode, I'm going to take you into a sneak peek of the brand new online viewing rooms of Art Basel that I've chosen my top three and well, we have confirmation of sales too. So kudos. Amazing news that I decided to pick for this week's program is that Italian dealer and Belly Arts have hosted a 16 pieces art show in an underground car park in Brescia. I just freaking love it because that's the way how you adapt during this situation. I just love it. We're going to see some of the images of this. Uh, well, plus we have our special guest, Eric Lau. Yes, this was a gift done by him when I visited New York on 2016. And it's the small size of the photography that was sold uh, in Sotheby's auction on 2018. The name and title of it, I love it, it's like Hustle. It's beautiful and it's of course a subway in New York. Um, plus, another international news is in fact to do like a small analysis of who are the real winners right now in this art virtual market. Now, a hint it's between Gagosian and Cerner. So, will you join me? Now, let's start with my favorite news of this week. It's about Italian art dealer Massimo Minini and Belle Arti. It's an organization that aims to promote uh, art, contemporary art across the northern Italy city and um, has organized this first art exhibition, like a drive through art exhibition that is called Art Drive in Generali. This is hosted in an underground car park in Brescia. Minini, the founder of an epominous gallery in Brescia and the president of Belle Arti, has invited 16 artists to create site specific works for Art Drive in Generali, including Mimo Paladino, Stefano Arienti, Giovanni Castellano, and Olivo Barbieri. Now, moving to our special guest, Eric Lau. Hong Kong New Yorker photographer. Well, right now he's currently living in New York City and he will explain about the different phases that he has uh, passed uh, during the years, during this time, and also how he was introduced to the photography world. Hello, I'm Eric Lau, known as Eric Lau Street on Instagram. Thank you, Book Art, for inviting me for doing this artist series. Today, we are going to talk about my 12 years in photography in a couple minutes. So hang tight. I am a creative director, photographic artist and adjunct faculty. And uh, I'm originally from Hong Kong, moved to New York City since 15 years ago. I have around 12 years of experience in photography and it is not a straight line, it is pretty messy. So we're gonna talk about this in four different phases. Yeah? We're gonna talk about how I started when I was 16. Uh, so I was in an internship in an ad agency and we were doing uh, commercial photography. Uh, this time, as you can see from a photo for our Sony laptop. And I was really excited, but by all the big lights, cameras, and tripod. And the idea of using photography as a mass communication tool. And the, ba the best thing is uh, we get to print them really big. So after going back to New York, I studied uh, studio photography for a whole year uh, and learning how to use all sorts of equipment from studio, setting umbrellas, batteries, uh, tripods, different kind of lights, seamless and everything. Um, but then after a year or so, I get really bored about it. So I changed it into something else. So this is my phrase two of my photography, and it is more about travel photography. Uh, this is uh, my trip to Morocco and to Sahara Desert. The idea of capturing something on the camera uh, during this sort of once in a lifetime moment really captured me and that sort of become my focus. Um, and I'm carrying a lot still. I'm carrying four or five lenses uh, to my trip to Morocco and uh, it is around 15 pounds of gear and uh, um, 
the reason why I want to、uh, change it to the next phrase is because I think I'm really carrying too much. So after、uh, the six years in my photography, I really want to carry like slightly less and enjoy more, focus more on my subject. So as you can see on the top.、Uh, That is,、uh, you know, what I had,、uh, and now I change it to, you know, this like frame camera, like really old one, and you know, just carrying less than like three pounds of gear, and. Quickly, I start, you know, focusing on my what my I photograph instead of what I use to photograph. So, uh, uh, trying to understand like why I'm interested in certain things instead of like what kind of camera gear I'm using. And this is me selling my very first photograph, and I'm super excited.、Uh, these are some pictures, black and white, taken in Guatemala with my film camera setup, and、um, uh, I quickly start to do more with my photography. Uh, and these are some postcard I made for the tourism board of Guatemala and donating to a local school. And、uh, I also start doing show, and this is my very first show, and it was in Brooklyn.、Uh, it is a group show, and、uh, you can see these are you know my free photograph displayed, and it was during the Hurricane Sandy uh, uh, back in a few years ago. My phrase for sometimes I have my film camera with me and nothing happens, and sometimes I don't have it with me and something happened. So I thought to myself, like you know, what if I just use my phone because then, like you know, I always have it with me. So I start to really develop my style,、uh, just using my phone and not care about you know what kind of camera I use, and I start developing a more personal style,、uh, focusing on things that are closer to me, like such as these are some of the picture in New. New York and a lot of subway pictures,、uh, and、uh, things that are close to me, and I start getting more recognition. This is my very first time getting featured on New York Times.、Uh, And this is my photo,、uh, and it's a very simple composition. So I start to explore a bit more sort of abstraction, and、uh, you know how we can sort of frame certain things in a different way. I start doing more talks and、uh, sharing about my photograph, and putting up this an exhibition in、uh, Taiwan. Uh, a few years ago, and、uh, this one is the very first photograph I sold in Oxon House Sotheby's, and it was this two high school student.、Uh, one is rushing onto the train, and other wasn't made it, and so one is pointing to another, laughing into tears, while an other friend, like、uh, talking to the op train operator, hopefully get in, having his hands on the doors. And it was so in uh, in uh, the auction house sort of is in 2018, and I was doing、uh, more of like sharing of my work. And、uh, last year, my work was featured on Apple Instagram, and as、um, iPhone photographer, this is a very big、uh, moment for me. And、uh, I also start doing more exhibition in public space, such as、uh, you know this is as you can see the World Trade Center, the Oculus, and.、Uh, I'm going to end with a few photos of mine, all taken from my phone,、uh, and you can see most of these are New York City street scene, and I want to be sort of like as close as possible,、uh, you know, when I come to you know、uh, photographing individual, and I want to be as candid as possible. So thanks again, Brenda, for、uh, and Bulk Art for inviting me for this quick share.、Uh, see you there. Thank you. Thank you so much, Eric. Totally.、Yeah. Now. What's next? Well, let me show you around the brand new online viewing rooms. And first, let's start with、uh, what has been sold so far. It starts from forty-five thousand dollars and up to Keith Haring's Untitled, made on nineteen eighty-two, and sold for four point seventy-five million dollars. As David Turner, he was part of a conversation hosted by Art Basel just a few weeks ago. I had the pleasure to hear and listen about the mindset that he has and how he sees this as an entire opportunity too. Because it's、uh, true that you can find opportunities during crisis, and、um, he has sold one million dollars in the first three showings. And、the platform of David Swerner shows with a very classic way. Twenty-three galleries, you no, know, and、uh, they decide to pick 
uh, and show the artwork of one gallery for a specific time that is no longer than uh, a week and a half, sort of. Plus, another winner is Gagosian Gallery, yes. They decide to show one artist a week and one work on offer for 48 hours. That creates, of course, the urgency vibe, you know? So it will be online only for two days, for 48 hours. The top sales um, until June 15, it was about Cecily Brown's figure in a landscape priced in $5.5 million. News, if you want me to continue bringing you this weekly, my favorite and top news uh, from all over the globe to you, please leave a comment, share or subscribe to our YouTube channel too. So uh, ring the bell, don't forget, so you won't miss any of our upcoming apps. Now, what else? Well, keep safe, be a skeptic, question everything and think outside the block.